driver who's looking very much at repeating uh, this year in GP2 what Lewis Hamilton did with the same team a few years ago. He's now with Lee. Yeah, you would think a Belgian and a Scot wouldn't mind so much rain, but we're not happy about this at all. Uh, Stoffel, we were talking about you, um, so let's talk to you. It's been a great start so far in GP2. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, yeah, my start of the season has been has been really good. Uh, three victories in the in the feature races and two pole positions as well. And then, uh, yeah, in the sprint race, I got a lot of points as well. So, yeah, at the moment leading the championship. But, uh, yeah, my goal is really to uh, to continue this form uh, for the remainder of the season. And normally you've got such busy race weekends with your duties here, but also because you're driving in GP2. So you've come to Canada and you get a better chance to just watch how the team is, is working together. Is that, is that how it feels? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a good opportunity for me to be here, spend some time in the paddock when, when I'm a bit more relaxed, you know, when I'm not racing, then I can... I can see a bit more people around and, uh, and discuss with them and also um, to be here with McLaren and uh, yeah, learn, learn about the racing really. It's, uh, it's a whole different, different world compared to GP2 so uh, I definitely need the experience to, uh, yeah, to prepare for, uh, for the step. You've got two former world champions to learn from as well. I think you know Jensen pretty well but what's the relationship like between you and Fernando and you and Jensen? Are they helpful? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, they are two world champions so uh, it's very interesting to listen to their comments and uh, yeah, I mean, every time you, 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 you listen to them, you learn something from them. So it's definitely good to, uh, to, yeah, to get those experiences. And you're back in the car after Austria. We were speaking to Pascal Verlein earlier on and it's almost like there's so many of these promising young drivers trying to come through and just not enough seats, particularly here at McLaren. We saw what happened with Kevin last year. Two really strong young drivers, but two former world champions. That maths doesn't quite go, does it? But are you hopeful of a seat for next year? Yeah, I mean, it's still very early days, you know. Um, at the moment, I'm really concentrating on GP2 because that's, that's where I can really prove myself. Um, but yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm thinking about Formula 1 because that's where I, where I want to be. But uh, as I said, it's still too early to think about it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens after. So apart from keeping dry at the moment, what are the rest of your duties throughout the day? What do you do as a, as a third driver here? Uh, well, I, I'm actually here to commentate for the Belgian television. So, uh, yeah. So why are you on BBC? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm here with the, with the Belgian television as well. But uh, yeah, apart from that, listening with the team and, uh, you know, just, just be here and, and show myself that I'm, that I'm in the paddock. OK, well, there'll be some Belgian TV presenters looking for you, so I better let you go. Thanks very much for talking to us. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. That's stuff.